Hello, everybody. Betsy and Stacy are here, and we are, we got a very fun topic that we're going to talk about. Uh, so basically, uh, in general, I think so many people are stuck in their head, okay? And I feel like it is such a big factor why people can't make momentum when it comes to their health. And so today it's about kind of like, we tend to like build up that momentum or mojo and we can either go in the right direction and really see quick progress, or we can go in the wrong direction. So today we are going to teach you how to shift just two things to focus on. And if you do that, I can guarantee you that you are going to build this positive momentum with your health and with, if your goal is weight loss. Whatever your health goal is, I can guarantee you, you will be going in the right direction if you do these two things. So uh, just saying hello to everybody. It's Betsy and Stacy here. Just, um, you know, give us a little wave or your favorite emoji, anything fun to just bark up the day and get some communication going. And before I forget, Stace, um, this topic is such a, a great topic, but we are going to be diving so much deeper into this topic when we do our three day metabolic reset. And that is not in this upcoming week, but the week after. So it's April 16th, 16th 17th and 18th. and 18th. Yeah. So it's From three days, 30 to 1230 and it'll be yeah. group. So and I, I don't always love to say the times because I it, I feel like it just turns people off where they're like, well, I can't do it that time, but you can totally watch the replays. You can get all the prizes and you can get so much out of it. Uh, so we will put the link in here. We don't even, we haven't even started it of as in how to get people to sign up for it. So um, we, this will be kind of like a pre sign up and we'll put this link in here. If you like what we talk about today. We're going to dive so much deeper and really get you organized with how to kind of ignite your, your metabolism and really get you set up for this shift in the seasons right now. Like it's starting yeah. to get more. If people sign up right now, I just want to let you know that remember, I know this is like back stuff. I haven't been able to create the confirmation page yet. So if you sign up right now, you'll get a confirmation for our old one. So let's not do the link yet. Okay, okay, we'll, okay. We'll, right. we'll just do it in this. I'm so eager. Give me so a couple exciting. hours or something. I need you guys all know about two factor authentication now or whatever authentication. Oh yeah. And I keep getting locked out of stuff. So I gotta, yeah, call okay, Betsy. Sorry, like, no problem. Where's the code? <laughs> we have we have plenty of time, everybody. You'll get plenty of notice about plenty it. Of time, plenty of time. You are welcome to just put it in the chat and say I'm interested, and we will directly send you the link when you're ready. When we are ready. Yeah. Okay. So uh, ready. when, when I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I've, I've written an article about this. So I'm kind of going off this. Um, cause I, I like to just start by saying that like our world is just so like, it, we just invest so much of our time and energy into things that might not matter as much. Like we, we definitely think about our appearance and we worry about that. And like, I don't know, everything out there is about like, our appearance. It's so crazy. Uh, it's our surroundings. I'm more of a surroundings girl where it's like, I put so much energy into my home and stuff, but then, and then everyone like wonders what's going on with their health and how come I can't get a handle on it. So I want to shift gears and really like flip the script of you being hard on yourself and always looking in the mirror and being hard on yourself and, you know, looking at your house and being wise, I'm so disorganized and always kind of like being tough on yourself and teach you these two things so that you really can ground yourself into a place of success. So number one is da -da -da -da, your daily thoughts. Okay. Such a big deal. Okay. So, you know, I, I would love for just by when you finish up here and you're in your world, I would love for you to start paying attention to what your daily thoughts are on the regular. And like, are they nice thoughts? Most likely they're negative. You know, are they on playing on a loop in your brain constantly, you know, and, and what kind of feelings are they creating? So 
thoughts in general create a feeling in your body. Maybe it's overwhelmed or you're frustrated and that will then pretty much decide that factor. Will it go in the right direction and cause like you to have success and build this positive momentum or will it lead to self-sabotage and just halt your progress or lead to paralysis where you just don't even know what to do? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is just a huge place that I want you guys to put your energy to. Can I just say one thing? Cause we are getting just a couple of comments in the um, of course. chat. Um, so Michelle just says, hi. So hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And, um, and then Linda said something uh, because what I put before you even started talking, I said, what do you focus on every day? That was what I asked people. So mm -hmm. Linda says she needs to stay focused on eating healthy and not eating anything off course. And so when I look at that statement, it's a great thing to focus on, but I would just take off the back half. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like focus on eating healthy because that's a great thing to focus on. But when you add the not eating anything off course, that's trying to be perfect and beating yourself up. Does that make sense? Like when we, when we um, have a thought pattern like that, right? Like instead of just putting the focus on like, I'm just going to eat healthy. I'm going to try and balance my meals. I'm going to eat more greens. I'm going to, you know, these kinds of things, like make sure I have protein, make sure I have starchy carbs, make sure I eat on a regular basis. That's a great enough focus as opposed to then just focusing on like, oh, dang it. I had a cookie after I ate great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, and then everything you did that was great just gets totally negated by the fact that you had a cookie. You know what I mean? Like, and then the cycle starts where you're like, oh God, I can't, I can't get this right. And it's like, yeah. The and then Michelle is now saying definitely a loop in my brain always could I do more? And it's like, why, why do you have to do more? That's a very, <laughs> that's a very, um, 80s thought like I know this sounds weird but like if you're like a child of like the 80s and 90s like remember we used to all brag about like how little we could sleep like oh I don't have to sleep like I can I did this, this, this. Like, I, I can do all this work, this work and like <laughs> and that yeah. sounds terrible but you know what I mean like that was something that we really wanted to be we always wanted to be doing more we didn't focus on rest and recovery and I think that rest and recovery is something that we need to talk about in our next thing that you should focus on for your day. It so it's a, focus it's on a your daily habits. Block. Um, I, and I'm going to just, I want to like focus on Linda's a little bit more. So if you, we just did a few examples, you know, it's just, it's your daily thoughts. It doesn't have to be the same thought of, I want to be healthy or I want to eat healthy. It's just every time you eat healthy and you do something, Linda, you could say, wow, I had a good breakfast. Like, good job. Like that, that was really fulfilling. I feel good right now. You know, and you can just keep saying all the things that you are doing that are well, that you're doing well, all the things that you're proud of. And you say, I'm proud of myself for this. And, you know, and I'm, I'm tired right now and I'm going to take a break instead of like, I'm being lazy, you know, or you got off track and you had that cookie, like Stacy said, you could say, well, I did great this morning and I had a cookie and I'm not going to beat myself up on it. And I'm going to let it go. Bam. Let it go. Like, it's like once you have the cookie, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have the cookie. There's nothing you can do about. I mean, I mean, there. You know, if we wanted to get into like really a dark place, there's something you like. That's not where we're gonna go. So, um, we just want to be like, yeah, you had a cookie and it's fine. Did you enjoy the cookie? If you enjoyed yeah, the cookie, and I enjoyed it, yeah, then great. You know, but um, like just. And well, we, I mean, we help our clients all the time with like, if they get cravings all the time and they always struggle with that, where they don't think they have enough willpower and they're like fighting themselves constantly, you know, that's part of our job with our coaching program is to investigate why, like the actual clinical reasons of why they have an unstable blood sugar that's causing these things and what are the, the factors. So that's, you know, really great to educate yourself. So you don't have to be in this question mode all the time in your brain. Like, am I doing this right? I'm not sure. So, uh, it's a dirt doubt and worry and questioning that I feel gets people in trouble with those, those daily thoughts. So it's just a big piece of our program is that you get to start to know your body more, you get more intuitive. And then we have a very clear way that we help our clients to redirect their negative thoughts. 
so that they can really not just do like, let's just say they work with us for three months. Like it's not just three months where they're on track and they're doing better with their nutrition, their exercise and their mindset. It's so that they can set themselves up for, for like forever to really be in a positive place where they are proud of their actions. So your daily thoughts are super duper important. I can't emphasize how much that they impact you and your motivation and the long-term effects for your stress hormones and your metabolism. Okay, number two, what is the second big focus that you need to focus on in order to really transform your health forever? And that is going to be- How much money you make. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't hurt. I thought, I thought you were asking me. <laughs> it helps a little bit. Okay. Your daily patterns, your daily patterns are huge. It's, I call it like your circadian rhythm of your day, the flow of your day, you know, it's, it creates patterns of mm -hmm. whether you're really going to go forward and continue to be pissed at yourself. Cause you're like, I continue to like go to bed late and then I wake up late and then I need coffee and then I skip this meal and now I have cravings. And it's like a pattern where you start to like, just go back to the negative thoughts because you're pissed at yourself and you don't know how to break this unhealthy cycle. Mm -hmm. So there's a way to go in the bad direction, or you can get a handle on your daily patterns and really start to feel good about yourself. And wow, the positive momentum really kicks into gear when you combine these two things, your daily patterns yeah. and your and, daily thoughts. And it really does make a difference. I, I was talking to somebody the other day in a consult and this person was talking about how they forget to take their meds. They forget to use like a CPAP machine. <laughs> they forget to do. And I'm like, these are big things to like forget. Mm -hmm. And that all stems from not having a daily routine. Like if you have no trigger to like, remember, if you don't have a routine to go to bed, then you're going to forget to do the things that are going to help you sleep, whether that's take magnesium or what, whatever that is that is going to help you sleep or help you, you have to wind down. You have to like turn things off. If you are just sort of like floating through your days and you don't have a trigger for your habits, how, like, how do you expect to remember them? Right? Yeah. Like, because that's a, a chaotic is... way of living. <laughs> yeah. It, it's literally like fly by the seat and you're never in a place of calm. Your body is always on high yeah. alert. Like, I don't think I'm doing this right. You know? Yeah. Because if you don't have like habits are triggered by like antecedents, which are like things that they're triggers, right? What's the thing? So like for me, I take a few little supplements every day, but the trigger is I eat dinner. So if like I'm eating dinner, like in different places in my house or like, you know, or different times, like completely different, you know, or whatever, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. I'm grazing. I'm not actually eating. I'm yep. bringing food in, whatever that is, then I'm going to forget to take my supplements, if that makes sense, you know? So it's like, I need to have certain triggers so that I can do the other things. And, and just to be clear, yeah. like a lot of our daily patterns are like, do you have a non-rushed morning routine that you look forward to, you know? And do you have an evening routine that sets you up for quality sleep? And do you have an exercise routine? And nutrition is obviously huge for us where we want to make sure that you have a meal schedule that's going to create like very balanced hormones for you. Yeah. And Michelle is in the comments and she says, it's so true. If she deviates from her routine, it throws her off for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if I change the time that I like work out or something for some reason, like say a kid has a appointment, I got, I'm like, where am I? I don't know what I'm doing. Like I have steps for my day, right? Like step, 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 step. And I've got to do things. And so. it should feel good. So that's mm -hmm. uh, just these are just two really big, big, bold, like things that encompass it all are your daily thoughts, your daily patterns. It's going to be what sets you up for success if you do it correctly. And like I said, we are going to be teaching a three-day workshop series. It's just like 45 minutes to an hour each day where we're going to have fun with this. We're going to have like our journals out. We're going to create these plans so that you can truly set yourself up for success. 
So, and we'll, there, we have so many cool prizes with it too, with a menu plan. So you can follow that the whole time and, and lots of, of, of cool stuff. So we will be sharing that information. Like I said, if you are like eager and you're saying, yes, this makes sense. I don't want to do like a medication to lose weight. I don't want to do another diet. Like I need to like actually transform my health forever and I want to do it right. This makes sense. Then, then leave your name in the comments or just say, I would like, I'm interested in your series or your three-day reset. And we will definitely send you the link when that is ready. So. It should be ready today. I just need to get the authentication factor from you. No worries. <laughs> you know how it is. No um, but I want to say thanks to Michelle and Linda for participating in the chat today. It's always nice to have real-time you know, yeah. discussions. So to speak. Absolutely. So, yeah. Appreciate so you. Thanks, ladies. Yeah. Okay. Take care, guys. Okay. Bye, guys. Adios.